Glory to God. Glory to God for that amazing testimony. And uh, I can tell you, you know, what one thing about this ministry that God gave me is it has a particular purpose, a very clear purpose, a purpose that I don't doubt, a purpose that I have seen the manifestation, the lives of people over and over, hundreds of them. You know, uh, one time, a man of God reached out to me. I was trying to find out why is the ministry because he, he has been reading for me, especially how I break down verses. And when I'm breaking down the verse, I'm only talking about career and business. Even I was preaching in one church here in the US, and the man of God says, I've noticed that you cannot say anything without mentioning career and business. Then I sat and I was telling him, Look, God has called me for a particular direction. You know, when God calls somebody, he gives the person a particular mandate. There are some people who have given them the mandate of holiness. Anything they preach is about holiness and righteousness. That's what the Bible talks about, you know, it's a body of Christ. One, one part cannot make a body. It's a body of Christ. And God has a purpose for everybody to achieve his aim. Now, why am I bringing this? If there's one thing that God told me, and then there are two uh, um. No, three men of God have given me prophecies about this. One, one time my pastor gave me a prophecy and, and he said, um, I will raise men that will stand as giants in their industries across the world, right? And then another pastor gave me a prophecy and said, I'll pray, when I pray for somebody about their business and their career, they will experience breakthrough with ease. And that's a fact. As I always say something very funny, if you come to us, you pray for you when you are sick. I get to struggle to pray for the sick. But I get to pray a lot, very hard, like, Father, heal this person before it gets to happen. But when it comes to career breakthrough and business lifting, sometimes someone will come to me, I'm even, I'm never having the attention on the time I'm, I'm tired. I just say, God bless you and change your business. And that is just a simple prayer. And you go see a different dimension in that particular business. Why? Because there is the empowerment that God himself you see, God operates in different dimensions as far as, 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 as that is concerned. And, and God wants to, and that's why you need to understand that if you are part of this ministry, you follow this ministry, you need to understand that if you are working, you are not just doing a normal work. Your work is a ministry to God. Your work is a place for you to advance the agenda of God, to advance the kingdom of God. If you run a business, your business is not just a business. Your business is part of God's agenda. You are not part of this um, fellowship just by chance. No. You are there because when you saw it, the spirit of God quickened you to be part of it. And God, you're already part of God's agenda. One thing that God God told me was that God will rain, raise financial giants through this particular fellowship. For what purpose? For his kingdom purpose. People that he will bless them financially so they can finance his work on earth. You know, God will never leave heaven to come on earth to do anything. He will only use men. He will raise men for his purpose and that will be achieved. You see, that's one thing I, 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 I have absolute certainty that if you work, if you're part of the work I do and all of that, there is no doubt that you'll be wealthy. If you do, the, if you do your part, of course, I have no doubt you'll be successful, you'll be wealthy because it is part of the anointing. It is part of the mandate that God has given. I'm not saying what I'm still anticipating. I'm saying what I have seen happen in the lives of people. When somebody comes in contact with me and is struggling in business and then we start studying and praying and I start doing coaching and in less than six months, one year, they start seeing incredible results in what they are doing. Let me show you something. I think I've shared this one time. Um, there was something that happened one time where I selected a group of young mentees. So it's 2020 or 19 or so. And I just went in, but I selected them and I asked them a couple of questions. Have you made your first one million before as an entrepreneur? All of that. I sent a couple of them and I said, I'm going to work with you for one year. And one of the goals is that before December 2020, you should be able to make your first one million safe in the bank, not one million under pressure, one million safe in the bank and your business is doing very well. And before um, October that year, 
all the seven guys that were working with me already made their first one million. It is not because I'm super intelligent, no. It is because there is a spirit and there is a mandate for that particular purpose. I was just saying this based on, on, on what uh, Ms. Price shared as a testimony where, you know, they have experienced a new dimension of sales, which is something they have not seen before. And this is, this is the kind of testimony I've had many times on businesses or even surprise promotion. There was this uh, uh, one gentleman that shared a testimony with me two days, three days ago and gave a seed of 50,000 of 50, francs to support, uh, um, uh, to support the Zoom session I can buy for, for the fellowship internet. That's what he said. I just want to give a seat so that you can use the money and buy because my life has changed. I was promoted supernaturally at work. That's two days, is it two, three days ago, something like that, right? So God is doing wonderful things. And I want, that's why I keep on telling you guys, you know, in all you do, put God first place. All know him. If you can listen, listen. That's what it is. There's a blessing listening to a sent man into your life. Listening to anybody you decide that, look, this person, God has sent this person to change. The Bible says, in your prophet is your prophet. In your prophet, you will prosper. It's not just a word, right? In the, your, your prophet is just like a priest of God. In your pastor, whoever you decide to submit to as a spiritual leader, all of that, there's a lot of power in that. Personally, I don't joke with that. I have priest over my life that I submit to because I know the spiritual powers, the spiritual significance of having a priest who speak over your life is so powerful. All right, praise God for that testimony. And as I was preparing for this um, uh, session today, God surprisingly changed everything and didn't give me a teaching. God asked us to pray his promises into our lives. That's why you see the topic praying the promises of God and experiencing the manifestation. So we will be praying some specific God's promises to see the manifestation in our lives, in our careers, and in our businesses. And you will see tremendous things. As long as you believe, as long as you believe, after today, you will see a new level of dimension God's promises will start coming alive in your life. You start seeing the real manifestation of this promise because God has released the anointing for this season. God has released uh, um, um, his word for this season that we should pray his promises. And he is there. He is there already to back his word of what uh, he will be doing. In Jesus' name. So I want you to increase your faith. I want you to have absolute belief. I want you to do away with any, every doubt, do away with every spirit of discouragement, and be very positive and focused and believe that God is about to fulfill his promises over your life in a new dimension. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it's, it's going to be a prayer session or through. Uh, and uh, we will, I'll be ministering and giving prayer points at the same time as the Holy Spirit leads, and we will see uh, um, the mighty works of God uh, uh, that he'll be doing in our lives uh, tremendously. Be ready for it, and God says that there are some people that all they need to do is to activate these promises. There are some people that they, are, they, they have been working hard, yes. They believe that they're going to succeed, yes, but the promises have not been activated. There are some people here like that. So as we, as we begin to pray, I will be speaking and activating these promises according to the leading of God. And as you will be praying for yourself, you will be activating these promises over your life, over your business, over your career. And as you set out this week, you will hear tremendous testimony. Sometimes I even forget to screenshot and share some of these testimonies in the WhatsApp group because sometimes when God do things, I'm like, my God, is this, this is how God can be so good and so wonderful. Praise God. Hallelujah. So get ready. Just, just get yourself in the mode of prayer. Just get ready to encounter God, to, to, to seek his face in a new dimension and see what he will do. Praise God. Father, thank you. Just open your mouth and begin to honor God. 
upon your mouth and begin to adore him, just exalt the holy name. Father, we worship you. Father, thank you for the opportunity to bring your promises into our lives. Thank you for the for the opportunity to call your son. Ni konto sekeba, the child of God, pray, child of God, pray. Let's talk in the liga babale. Let's talk in the zik and the super lila manda di bene. Father, we put you in front of our lives. Lord, you are our son, you are our God. Child of God, worship in child of God. Let's talk in the Lika Babale. Lord, we worship you because you are God. When you say yes, nobody can say no. The God that finds our sin and unseen battles, the lifter of our heads, be contoste kebaba desikara. Let's talk in the league kebaba resaka da kondo league. Let's talk in the league kebaba desikara. Pray, pray, child of God. Pray, 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 pray. Those who are following on Facebook, join us and pray. Join us and pray. Glory to him, worship his God, his holy name. The mighty man in battle, the faithful God, the God that answers prayers, the God that fulfills his promises. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we exalt you. There is no one like you. Thank you for your living. Thank you for doing what you can do. Thank you, Baba Father. Thank you, when Thank you, Baba Thank you, In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Bible says. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1, the Bible says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all nations on earth. We are going to pray, Father, give me the grace to fully obey you. Now, on your own, as based on your flesh, no, the flesh if you don't subdue the flesh by the spirit, the flesh will always go and do what it wants to do. The flesh will like to be lazy and sleep. The flesh will like to eat too much. The flesh will like to backbite and gossip. The flesh will like to destroy people. The flesh will like to do funny, funny things that God will not be proud of. But let me tell you, child of God, there is a grace there is a quickening that you can contact from the throne room of grace that will give you the ability to subdue the flesh and fully obey the Lord your God. There are many people that, you know, don't know how to discipline themselves just to wake up from bed. You know, one thing I, I was telling somebody, like there are two things I do consistently a lot. For, for example, since 2012, 3 a.m. had to be made me in bed since 2012. I consistently subdue the flesh and wake up at 3 a.m. and do what I want to do, right? And uh, um, I study. Since 2012, I study at least four hours every day. I write at least one article every day in anything, at least 300 words. Now, I, I, I have mastered my part of discipline, but there is a, also a grace. There is also a quickening that the Holy Spirit can give you that will 
put you in a dimension where you live a righteous life, you live a holy life, and you live for the glory of God. And you know how to do the right things at the right time. Child of God, let me tell you, it is difficult to experience your fullness in God when you have not sought out this, when you have not sought out the flesh. It is difficult to experience the full promises of God, to manifest your full potential based on what God wants you to do, unless you subdue the flesh. And that requires a combination of two things. Number one, your intentionality. And number two, the quickening that comes from the Holy Ghost, the quickening that comes from God himself. That's why we are going to pray, oh God, give me the grace, quicken me to enter a dimension where I fully obey you in the day and in the night. I fully obey you in all circumstances because that is a condition. The Bible says, if, so if you don't, you are going to miss the promises of God. You're going to miss the breakthroughs of God, the lifting of God. But when you are in Christ, Christ can quicken you. You can enjoy the righteousness of Christ. You, can, you need to believe that Christ died and subdued the sinner. You need to enter the realm of faith and receive the blessing, the gifting of righteousness. And one thing that the gifting of righteousness does that it begins to manifest in your life is that it subdues that which will disobey God and to the blessing of God. So you're going to pray, oh God, quicken me by your spirit. Let me enjoy the, the, the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus and fully live according to the will of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God, give me the grace to fully obey you. Father, give me the grace to receive the gift of righteousness. Give me the grace to subdue God. Pray, 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 pray. This is the foundation of Oh my goodness, thank you, ancients of days. Thank you, ancients of days. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, thank you, Father. This lady, Fongwa Mary, are you there? Fongwa Mary. I'm there, sir. How are you? What do you do? I'm getting better, so fine. Okay, what, what do you do? What do you do? Tell me what do you do? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. Oh. Yes, sir. God says you have been very intentional about your work with God. You, you have been doing your best to live according to the will of God. And, and God says you should trust him and you should not walk away from that path. You understand? Yes, God sir. says he, he has seen your determination and your desire to honor him and to live according to his will. 
And God says, there is a special promise ahead of you. <laughs> a very special promise. Oh, my okay. goodness. Is there, you, you, you have a very special prayer point you have been wishing God to answer. Yes. God says he has heard you. May you experience the manifestation of what you are looking for from God in the name of Jesus. This Amen. session today is for you. God is going to fulfill a special promise over your life. Amen. A special Amen. promise over your life. I pray for you under this anointing in the name of Jesus. Whatever oh, yes. form, whatever system, whatever structure, they will bow and honor you for the sake of God in the name of Jesus. And whatever Amen. you desire to see happen by the authority in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says in the book of Colossians that if Christ Amen. had brought us into his fullness, by that same authority in Jesus' name, you will experience the fullness of what you are looking for in Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is done. Go and celebrate and expect to see what God will do for you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank Praise you, Jesus. God. Next prayer point. We're going to pray. We're still in that chapter one. The Bible says, now we have prayed that God should quicken us. Praise God. We have, we have prayed where we've entered that dimension. And then the Bible says in that same verse, that the Lord, you are God, will set you high above all nations. Now you're going to pray, oh God. Oh my goodness. The Holy Spirit redirected me to a different prayer point before this one. Now, the Bible says, when, when the Holy Spirit loves you, this is what he does. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 2, verse 25, the Bible says, and God looked upon the children of Israel and God acknowledged them. Now, we should pray and say, oh God, look upon me today and acknowledge me with all your promises. My goodness. Look now. This is God speaking in Exodus and bringing us back to Deuteronomy. And these scriptures were written to the same set of people, the children of life, at very special points in their lives, very critical points in their lives. This, is, you know, this particular word came to them in very special circumstances. And God honored these words in a peculiar dimension. God is about to look upon somebody and fulfill his promise over their life. Now we're going to pray this prayer for you. Oh God, like you look upon the Israelites and you acknowledge them. Father, look upon me and acknowledge me with your promises in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God, look upon me. Say, Father, your mercy. Let's go 
in the name of Jesus thank you father we're gonna pray oh God honor your word in my life honor your word in my career honor your word in my business and set me high above all nations on earth now listen to this carefully when God talks about nations now these nations can mean different dimensions of nation a native doctor can be a nation you know God turned Jacob into a nation praise God Cameroon can be a nation Nigeria can be a nation your village can be the nation that God is talking about here praise God a gang of people that don't want to see a rising can be a nation so you're going to pray oh God the Bible says in that Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 in the B part the Bible says the Lord you are God the Lord, you are God, you are Father. The Lord, you are God, will set you high above all the nations on earth. This is one of those core scriptures who made me to believe that there is no nation on earth that can refuse me visa. You know, you're, you're kind of the, the kind of consciousness and the kind of glory you carry from the word of God contributes to the kind of authority you command when you stand in front of people. If the Bible says, if my father says that he will set me on high above all the nations on earth, that is what I need to believe. After all, the Bible says he is not a man that he should lie. And he's not a God who speaks to impress me. He speaks to fulfill his word. You are going to pray. Whatever nation has been standing in your way, Whatever structure, whatever system has been standing in your way, oh God, honor your word and set me high above all those nations. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare. This is a, this a, this a, do prophetic declaration. Pray in the form of declaration. Father, set me above all the nations of earth. Every 
I am seated high with Jesus. I am seated high above nations, above systems with Jesus. I am above systems. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, ancients of days. Take the glory, Father. In Jesus' name, instruction for some people. If you know that, I will explain. If you know that you are going through that, there's an instruction for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen carefully. If you have been trying to get something in your career, in your business, and there has been a hindrance, like a hindrance that you don't understand really, like it's not normal. Get, get it clearly. It, you are trying to do something and you know that this thing is supposed to work. But yet there is a phony hindrance that is stalling it down. You have no idea what that hindrance is. But you know that it's supposed to work. Maybe, maybe others have done the same thing and it's so clear that they go through the process without challenges, but your own case is different. Is there anybody going through something like that? Indicate just write a yes in the chat box. I know there's somebody going through that. All the Holy Spirit said, so I'm not, I'm not doubting. Okay. Like this, something you are supposed to, others did it. Like you know, others did it, but it's 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 okay. Theirs went smoothly, but your case sounds funny. You don't understand. Like, but wait, why is my case like this? That there's a nation that is standing. So the instruction is, you are going to do a three days fasting and prayers about that thing. And your prayer point about this case is from Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse one. If you know me very well, for those who I have counseled privately and all of that, I never counsel you and put you on a prayer point without a scripture, without a scripture. And we have always had tremendous testimonies. When God wants to do something, he gives you an anchor scripture, which is a route, which is what he stands on to honor his word and do what you're asking for. So if you're going through that, please, I'm putting you on a three days fasting and prayers. And your anchor prayer point is, your anchor prayer verse is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 especially the B part. Oh God, honor your word in my life 
and set me high above this mountain. Set me high above this nation. And I tell you, God is going to honor you because it's an instruction from him, meaning he has done it already, but you need to do your part. You need to, you need to wake up in the place of prayer. Now, the Bible says, when Jesus was talking, it says, speak to this mountain. Now, the Bible did not say, uh, uh, come to God. You know, that's not what you're doing. You are in your three days fasting, you are speaking to that mountain. You are speaking to that nation to give way for you because the Lord has said so. Get this very clearly. Don't go and start begging. Father, please have mercy and take this away. No, that thing is, 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 is claiming and, and, and fighting over you because you are not standing in your sonship in Christ, in your sonship in God and taking authority over that nonsense. You get the point? So don't go and, and be calm. Don't go and be begging, Father, have mercy. Please, Lord, take this away from me. God is not a God of emotions, a God of principles and authority. But it's very clear. In these three days fasting and prayers, you are speaking and you are shifting things. And God says that he will take some people into a new dimension Amen. in their careers and business after these three days. Amen. Okay? So speak to it. Remember, but Jesus speaking says, speak to this mountain. That's a mountain. Call it by name because it's being sponsored by something. And that's why you have to stand in the altar of prayer and let your altar of prayer fired by the Holy Ghost sponsor the pulling down of that nation and that mountain. I hope you get it. And you will see tremendous things. Praise God. And I pray for you and I make this declaration. As we embark on these three days fasting and prayer, that nation and that mountain has given way for you in the name of Jesus. It's going to give way for you for good in Jesus' name. You will have testimonies immediately after that three days. Even for some people in the midst of the three days, the mountain and that nation will start giving way and you'll start having a clear path to that challenge that was looking so far. It's sponsored by something. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing. We're going to pray. The next prayer point. We're going to pray. Oh, God. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 1, chapter 28, verse 3, the Bible says, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Child of God, it is your right to be blessed in your city. It is your heritage to be blessed in your country. In that same country where people are saying there is a casting down, your, your heritage is blessing. Your heritage is a lifting up heritage. In that same Africa, people are saying things are not going. Children of God who understand their place in God and who understand the promises of God can experience a blessing beyond understanding. Oh, yes. I want to talk to somebody and say things are, I said, in, in, this, in this same Cameroon, I have gone and spoken in a conference for two hours and they paid me 1.2 million. What are you saying? This country, I'm blessed in this country. If you would know your own, I am not from, we are not from the same economy. That's what I told him. See, when you are in the kingdom of God, you are from the economy of God. That's why you, you are, if you are around me, you will never hear me complain about Cameroon. I'm not saying it's the best country in the world, but I am saying for you in Nigeria, those are from South Africa, Tanzania, those are from the US. The Bible says we are of, yes, we are in this world, but we are not of the world. We are of the economy of God. That is true. That should be a level of your faith. When you embark on anything to do, you know that, yes, you are doing it in Cameroon as a nation, but you are backed by the economy of God. Praise God. Yes, it is your heritage to be blessed in that city. 
It is your heritage to be blessed in that country. It is your heritage to be blessed in Africa. It's your heritage to be blessed in the US. It's your heritage to be blessed in Canada. Blessed anywhere you step your feet. It's your heritage. Any city you are in, you have to be blessed by that city. I have seen it happen to me many times. Enter a strange city and I am blessed. You're going to pray. That city where you are is supposed to honor you. It's supposed to respect the promise of God over your life. And it is your responsibility to stand in your altar of prayer and activate this particular promise. Oh God, in this city of Duwala, in this city of Yaoundé, in this city of Lagos, in this city of Abuja, in this city of Johannesburg, in this city of Nairobi, in this city of, of Washington, in this city of Atlanta, in this city of, of Texas, wherever, oh God, may you honor your word and bless me according to your promise. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray, oh God, you say in your word, in in Jesus' name, listen carefully, for the instruction, listen carefully. Now you're going to pray. We're still praying the same prayer point, listen carefully. But you're going to pray now and speak that verse, linking it to what you do and mentioning the city where you currently operate. You understand? For example, you're going to say, I, because the Bible says you will be blessed in past tense. That means it's already a blessing released already. It is already part of your heritage. It's already part of who you are in Christ. Your job is just to stay in the place of prayer and begin to manifest it. So you are therefore, if you run a business in Yaoundé, you run a business in Douala, you're going to say, oh God, bless me in this city. The Bible used the word city and country. So you're going to pray, Father, bless me in this city of Douala through my business. If you run a business, Father, bless me in the city of Yaoundé through in my career. Father, bless me in the oh. city of Lagos, in this country of America, in this country of South Africa, through my business. Somebody pray, pray, pray. Open your mouth and begin to be. Begin to be. be. The heavens are open already. The atmosphere has changed where you are right now. The energy is different. We have entered a new realm right now. Thank you. 
thank you holy ghost thank you jesus jesus thank you father in jesus name we are praying there's a word for somebody there's a businessman here you have been contemplating of opening a new branch for your business, but you have been worried. Is it going to work? Is it the right move or not? A businessman here, recently, it's not, it's not an old thought. You have been thinking, should I open this branch? You wanted to extend your business, but you are worried, you are afraid in your spirit. You are not confident enough. Are you, can you confirm if you are the one? This thought is not more than two weeks. As the Holy Spirit says. You have been contemplating, should I open this branch or not? Should I open or not? The problem is not money. You, you have the money you would want to you extend, but you, you have not, you have not been, uh, your spirit has not been, you, 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 are, you are afraid, is it, it going to work or not? Receive the anointing, receive the grace to take that bold step and go subtle in Jesus' name. Go and do it. Gonna work. Yeah? God says go and do it. It's gonna work. Go and establish that branch. That is a new springboard for what you're doing. There'll be a a new God is going to use that branch to set you up. Uh -huh. And the Holy Spirit says that will be the first kind of business that you will start in his presence. Now, further instructions. Because you are starting now in, yeah. Please, when you open that branch the first day, get a man of God to come and pray for it. Get a pastor, a priest, a pastor, pastor where you worship or call a pastor that you, your spirit connects to, you submit to, to come and do a dedication. And God himself, God himself will take the lead and you will see how God will honor Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 3, in that branch, and God will bless you in that city. And that will be the springboard of your national dominance. That's, that is it. It's done, like a joke. It's done. We'll hear a story someday. Now, the Holy Spirit took me from Deuteronomy to Exodus and showed me a verse. I want us to pray. We're going to read that. It's related to the last prayer point, but just a confirmation. Exodus chapter 9, 9 verse 16. The Bible says, Exodus 9, verse 16. The Bible says, and that's God talking, and this is God talking to you. Listen carefully. The Bible says, but I have raised you up for this very purpose. Somebody, God is going to bless you in that city through your career and business. God is going to bless you in that country through your career and business for his purpose. Listen carefully. The Holy Spirit doesn't link scriptures by error. 
The Bible says, but I have raised you up for this very purpose, that I might show you my power. That person to open that branch, God will show you his power. And that my name, listen carefully, my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. As I said earlier, let me tell you something. God told me, anybody who is part of the fellowship, anybody who is following this ministry and is ready to submit to me and proclaim my name through their career and business, I will raise them up to a new dimension and they will never see shame. That's what God told me. I don't know, I will never, I will never in anything makes my words. Your career should honor God. They should see Christ in you, in your office. In your business, they should see a godly kingdom driven business. This fellowship is not for joy, but to take the glory. I tried that, that day I would die. He will kill me and take it away. He's, the old, he's, he's God now, he can do whatever he wants. So be very careful about that. That's, that's, a, that's a serious uh, uh, um, principle that you need to honor. You need to honor and see what the Lord do. If you believe in the ministry, you see, God will, see, min, mandates of every ministry are for a people, not for the man of God, not for the person he has sent. No, they are for the people who believe and honor the mandate not for the person. So that's why that's why there are some people here that like, there was somebody that I sent a message to, I've never spoken to the group, I just sent a message to, and he started listing me testimonies, and like, I'm sorry, I did not come to give me, the, to give you the testimonies. That's why that if you connect to the mandate and you are doing what the, the requirement, all of that, God will bless you without even me ever giving you a one-on-one a one -one, a confirmation, prophecy, or praying for you, whatever. Because you are, you are, you have, Lock yourself into the mandate. It can speak for you whether I know you or not. Because the mandate is for his people. It's not for one man. I'm just a channel. I'm just a human being is using. Praise God. So this verse is very important. For that prayer we pray. Because God is going to raise people in cities here. God is going to turn businesses into national businesses. It's going to bless you in that city. That prayer point that we have made, we have activated something in the kingdom. You have, you have started tearing the heavens over your business in that city. You have started tearing the heavens over your career in that city, in that nation. And God is going to respond because he said so. I'm not doubting. I know absolute certainty. 100, 1,001 believe that he's going to do it. But again, he says in Exodus 19, chapter 9, verse 16, the Bible says that I have raised you up for this very purpose. He's blessing you in that city, in that nation for this very purpose that I might show you my power. He will prove to you that he is Jehovah. That he is Jehovah, the Oga, Jehovah, quarter, quarter. And the last, the most important part in that verse, he says, that my name, that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth through you. I make a special prayer for you. By the revelation and by this mandate, I make this prayer for you. May God arise in a special way and honor his word and bless you in that city and bless you in that country for his name's sake in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Last prayer point and we go. Amen. Last prayer Amen. point. There's actually a service I'm going to minister in. I'm going to be part of it like right now. So that's why we're Amen. closing. Thank Next you, prayer Jesus. point. Amen. We're going to pray. We're going to pray now. Next prayer point. The Bible says in verse 4 of that chapter, the fruit of your womb will be blessed. 
The fruit of your womb were we blessed. One time I was reading this verse, the Bible, the Holy Spirit was telling me that, you know, in another dimension, you know, there's a way you can read the verse and the Holy Ghost opens you up to see different things. And it was telling me that the fruits of your mind will be blessed. That means your ideas, whatever you conceive. That was what I received when I read this verse some time ago. And God told me, whatever you conceive, joy bread, will be blessed. It will spring up and fly across effortless. It will, you will see the ripple effect of the fruit of your mind. You're going to see the fruit of that your business. You're going to see the fruits of that your career. This is the dimension we are operating from. This is the mandate. So we are going to pray, oh God, may you honor your word and bless the fruits of my mind. Bless the fruit of my hand. Bless the fruits that I have. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Le condoli che va a resticada condoli che di sicaba. Le condoli che va a resticada condoli che di sicaba. O God, on your word and bless the fruit of my mind. On your word and bless the fruit of my mind. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, honor your word. Bless the fruits of my brain. Bless the fruits of my heart. Bless the fruits of my career. Bless the fruits of my business. Bless the fruits of my family. Bless the fruits of the family. Oh God. Honor your word of blessing. Honor your word of blessing. Honor your word of blessing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Child of God, pray. Child of God, pray. Child of God, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. God is doing something. God is doing something. God is doing something right now. God is doing something right now. God is doing something right now. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, Amen. And the Bible says in Psalm sixty-seven, verse seven, the Bible says, "God will bless us." And all the ends of the earth will fear him. Here is a word for somebody. That little business that you may be doubting how far it will go. In the presence of God, with the blessing, there's something called the blessings of God. With the blessings of God over that business, it will become a giant because God will honor his word. In Psalms chapter 67, verse 7, God will honor his word and bless you and 
through that business, all the ends of the earth will fear him. In the name of Jesus. You may be listening to me right now. All you are doing is volunteering in a small organization. I have good news for you. Through that small fruit, the good news is you did not sit in the house and you are lazing around. No, you, you took the a step of faith to leave your house and volunteer. That was faith. I speak. There will be a creative miracle in your life. And through that small fruit of volunteering, God will bless you in a new dimension and that fruit will grow into something magnificent. And people across the world will fear your God because he has done it for you in the name of Jesus. You may be running that business from your house, from your one-room house, from your parents' house. You are trying to do small door-to-door -door delivery. I have good news for you. The Lord says you took a step of faith to begin that. You did not stay out and you are lazing around and doing the wrong things. Because you have stepped forth and you have put him first place in that business, he's going to turn that fruit into something magnificent and he will bless it into a giant business in the name of Jesus. And here's a word for somebody. You don't have something doing at all and you have just been sitting and doing nothing and, and just wishing and complaining. Here is an instruction for you. Step out with the fruit. Go and start something. That is the fruit. And the Bible says, uh, and God asked Moses, uh, what is that in your hand? And Moses said, I have a staff. And the Lord said to Moses, throw it on the ground. Child of God, what do you have for God to command you to throw it on the ground so that he can turn it into something magnificent? I pray for you. Before I pray, the Holy Spirit says, I should say this, when Moses was standing before the Red Sea, Moses had a staff and all God asked him to do is lift it. And God used that small staff and divided the Red Sea into two for the Israelites to cross. The Egyptians came, they did not have a staff and the Red Sea swallowed them. Child of God. You see that fruit? Stop complaining and stop murmuring and stop and stop doubting. Start taking steps of faith. Start believing and start speaking the blessings of God over the foot. And according to the scriptures of God, according to the word of God, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 4, the Bible says, The fruit of your womb will be blessed. The fruit of your brains, of your mind will be blessed. I stand on this word. I stand under this open heavens and I speak into your life. I speak into that business, into that career that you think is just small, but it is a foot. From today, it begins to grow into a new dimension in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. What an atmosphere. Thank you, Father. It is done. Thank you. Just open your mouth and begin to honor God. Begin to honor God. Begin to appreciate God. Just say, Father, thank you. Thank Father, you for thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that good Monday. Thank you for doing that good Monday. in jesus name amen i pray for you you're gonna have a great week god's promises will manifest real in your life in the name of jesus your steps are protected you are preserved in the day and in the night in the name of jesus the works of your hands are blessed people will favor you in high places in jesus name
Take all the glory, Father, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, all right, people. August is rounding up, and you know what's coming up. We have our three days fasting and prayers on the first, second, and third of September. It's going to be wonderful. It starts on Thursday. It goes through Friday, and then, of course, on Saturday. And God will usher us into another new month in a new dimension. Praise God. Amen. Remain in the presence of God. Remain faithful and committed and see what God will do. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me go ahead, take care of yourself, and let us stay in touch in what's on the WhatsApp group. Bless you. Amen. Thank you, Thank you Doctor. Amen. Thank you, Lord.